And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Now let's go to Mr. Verdeer. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. This is Mr. Verdeer with Verdeer's vocabulary word of the week. Our vocabulary word for this week is the word abbreviation. Abbreviation is a shortened form of a written word or phrase used in place of the whole word or phrase. It's also the act or result of abbreviating something. So, on our paper here, we have a couple of different abbreviations. One, we have USA. USA is an obvious abbreviation for the United States of America. Also, we have the abbreviation OZ, period, which is the abbreviation for ounce. Now, you could also use abbreviation if you're talking about something like a baseball game that was rain shortened. You could say that we played an abbreviated game due to the rain. Make sure you go out into your community and look for different abbreviations that are being used out there. I'll give you a hint. Look at the end of all of your street signs and you'll see lots of different abbreviations. This is Mr. Verdeer wishing all of you a terrific Tuesday or an abbreviated Tuesday, T-U-E. Now back to Danielle. Thank you, Mr. Verdeer. That was great. Now let's go to Jane to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on May 19th, 715, St. Gregory II begins his reign as Catholic Pope. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do If You're Bored. For today's activity, we're gonna be making a dog out of paper. This can be a great gift to anyone you know. Here are the steps. First, take two sheets of white paper, some scissors, a black marker, and a glue stick. Then take some yellow paper, red, and brown paper. Take your brown paper and cut out the shape of two ears. Then cut out a semicircle out of the bottom of the yellow paper and cut out a shape of a Lego inside of the yellow paper at the top. Make sure that you have it curved at the bottom. Then, draw some eyes and cut them out. Next, cut out the shape of a tongue. Then, draw a nose and cut it out. Next, put your red tongue on top of the ears and then take another sheet of paper and cut it into a square and then take the top of it and cut a little slit in the top then stick the red tongue into it and put it over the ears next put the yellow piece of paper under and then take the face of the dog and put it over. Make sure that you have all of your correct things correct and then
flip it over and fold your ears to the front. Then fold the top of the head to the back and then glue the back of the picture onto another piece of white paper. Then glue the bottom of the dog's body to the paper and then color the nose and glue it to the dog's face. Then color in the dog's eyes and glue them onto its face. Then glue around the tongue and glue the dog's face to the paper. Put a tongue and the ears will come up. Wow, wasn't that awesome? Now you have something great to give to anyone. Remember, if you do this DIY, Send a picture or video to pies.renaissance at gmail.com. And don't forget to stay creative. Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Nathaniel. Now let's go to weather with Vani. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 89 degrees Fahrenheit and thunderstorms. Now let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Vani. And here's your joke of the day. Hey, Sam. I have a question. I just got the text message and it says IDK, and I'm really not sure what that means. Could you tell me? I don't know. Oh, nobody knows. <laughs> now let's go back to you, Danielle. Thanks, Sam. But I'm still so confused about that. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your remote page to welcome your scholars in in the morning. Attendance will be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Baraz, Mr. Santiago, and Mrs. Kuttner. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, what begins with an E and only contains one letter? The correct answer to the riddle was envelope. Now for today's riddle. What is so fragile that saying its name breaks it? Once again, what is so fragile that saying its name breaks it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish all of you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you.